Yeah. All right, boys, Jad here with Dirt Obsession, and today we're going to find out why the Maxxis Carnivores are such a popular tire. And the best way to find out why a tire is so popular is you cut it in half. Oh, <laughs> no, let's Come not. On. All right, boys, so we got a little subscriber surge lately. We truly, truly appreciate all those new subscribers. If you're new to the channel, this is Too Fast Matt himself. What's up? Too Fast Matt put on some uh, new shoes on the XX. We're going to find out why. Yeah, uh, went with the carnivores. They seem real popular in our area right now. The aggressive tread pattern for the hard pack around here. Uh, plus, they got a little meat to them. You know, we, we run some, uh, some creek beds and stuff out here in Kentucky, so... Uh, you know, decided to go that route with that heat fly tire, uh, so I think shouldn't have much problem with the sidewalls and stuff. And then, of course, I have to go with some bead locks. You know, be blowing them beads all the time. Bead locks. So. Bead locks. <laughs> bead locks. Just B e the bead a locks. Uh, we got the bead locks. What tires that? The, the wheels. Or the, wheels, yeah. Yeah, the STI, STI HD nines. Uh, Brian had. I think the HD5, is that what he I had? think so, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I just really liked those, and they were on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Save right on. Y'all know I saved money, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, looking forward to the bead locks. I've never even had bead locks. So those are a super aggressive looking tire. They're great. We got the, uh, we got the old stock ones here for comparison. Yeah, 32s. These are uh, socks for 30s. The there. Oh yeah, quite a bit of height difference. Somewhat similar tread pattern, yeah. which which is good because the stock the stock tires did pretty well for you. Yeah, I didn't mind these tires at all. Uh, I don't have any problem with them. I don't have a single plug in any of these tires, these stocks. Uh, I don't. Really, I just I, I love the look of these, um, and I wanted bead locks, and they had a deal going on with the, the bead lock and the carnivore all together, and so I just went ahead and went with it. Heck yeah, jump on the opportunity while it's there. Stop tire, wheel and tire. I'm just barely holding it up here. 48.2. Now we're gonna do the STI HD9 wheel with a 32 inch carnivore, 55 pounds. So basically, five to six pounds difference for a 32 inch tire, that's not bad. We're gonna run them through the ringer today. Make sure, uh, make sure she still handles the way you like it too. Break the back end loose. Got the wife on board. Spend a little money, so. <laughs> so to say that Matt is an aggressive driver is a bit of an understatement. What he's trying to do here is swing the back end around, see what kind of slide he can get, and then see how the carnivore is hooked up. Uh, he explained to me that he was super impressed that he could still break the back end loose on demand, but these tires caught and grabbed much more quickly than the stock tires. That was something he was looking for and something he ended up being really, really impressed with. The other thing is that on slick hill climbs and rock faces like this one, he said the forward bite is just absolutely incredible on the carnivores. <laughs> they actually pull a little. Well said. Yeah, my other ones, man, I spin a lot. They are some climbing, hard pack grabbing tires for sure. I like them. Hook them up, dude. Hook them up.
Turn towards me. How they do for mud? Jeremy, why'd you get a stop? <laughs> Faster! Get out! Come on, man! Come on! <laughs> I'm loving the carnivores, but I'm telling you now, no matter how good you think they are, watch what you do. They're not mud tires. <laughs> they're, they're awesome on hard pack. But I gotta give a shout out to my wildcat buddy right here. Yeah. Y'all jumping ship abandoning the wildcat. Look, look who's coming to pull us out. <laughs> Everybody else refused. Wildcat. It ain't deep. It ain't deep. Let me move the salamander. I like that. <laughs> They, they did clear out pretty if good. If there's no other reason to buy new wheels and tires, whatever. Man. Look how clean they are. Oh man. I mean, we got stuck. After that was that was that was bung hole mud hole. I put SC1 on this spot here. Oh spot. yeah. Oh yeah. And this Shout spot. Out. See. Dude, so so to keep these spots clean, it only cost eleven dollars. <laughs> yeah. That's 10, pretty cool. Ten fifty at extreme. <laughs> Do it again. I, I missed it. <laughs> you no know, good taking a shirt off because your bike's covered. Throw your shirt inside Shit. out and then wipe it. Use whatever's dry to wipe you. Hey, might as well make the camera look yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least it this? takes a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that when I'm on film. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be honest, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, do, 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 do the peck thing again. Right. Look at that. Love you. 